my goodness. Mm. Okay, attention. I have so much hair. Okay. And welcome back to A Little Catholic Boost, a daily reflection on the readings from Mass. Thank you so much for being here. I am so blessed to have you, and thank you for praying with me. Today we will be reflecting on the Gospel, which is coming to us from John. And this is one of my absolute favorite passages in any Gospel, and I think there's just so much to be gleaned out of it. So hopefully I can do my best to say some of the beautiful things in it, but I really encourage you to read it on your own, come up with your own reflections and insights, because there's so, so much here. I actually want to take the time to read it with you today because I just think it's so beautiful. Jesus says, I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already made clean by the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Two things really stuck out to me in today's gospel reading. The first is that he talks about how the, he's going to prune the vines that do bear fruit so that they can bear more fruit. And it made me think of how in our lives we go through trials and tribulations and suffering and despair and sadness and heartbreak and all of these horrible things. And sometimes we're tempted to be like, God, take this away from me. Why are you doing this to me? This isn't fair. What did I do to deserve this? But I think Jesus here is inviting us to take it as an opportunity to see how he is pruning us. If you've ever pruned a plant, you'll see that you have to cut off all of the little dead bits so that it can bloom and grow bigger and taller and stronger, right? So that's a lot of times what the Lord's doing with us by stretching us and pulling us. When we go through hardships, when things are difficult, we have to really push through, where our prayer is really dry. So rather than see it as some kind of woe is me, gloom and doom moment, I think we should see it as the Lord pruning us, as him cutting off the bits of us that are dead. And it may, be, it may hurt, and we may not want to be pruned sometimes, but I think we need to understand and realize that that is how we are going to bloom more strong, more full, more beautiful at the end of the day. And the second thing I want to touch on really quick is how we can do nothing without God, as he says, nothing without him in the passage. I always like to think of our life like building a Lego set. And... We sit there and we're given the blocks, we're given the instructions, and all we have to do is put it together. I feel like our life is like that. Jesus gives us our gifts, our talent, our skills, the blocks with which to build. And then he gives us the instructions. He gives us his commandments. He gives us our life experiences that we've had in the past, all of which lead up to us using these gifts he's given us to create something. And our only job is to say yes to that. All right, that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and comment. Um, hit me up on Instagram. Um, I don't know, have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, and may we all ever grow in love with the Lord. Bye.